Alright, so what's the deal behind playing neo soul music? I mean, you've probably heard this type of music before, where the keyboard player is playing these beautiful, rich chords, and you're probably wondering, what the heck is he doing? Well, believe it or not, there is a formula behind playing in the neo soul style. And whether you're listening to Corey Henry, Jacob Collier, or Robert Glasper, there's a very good chance that they're using this formula to create their chords. So in today's lesson, I'm going to show you my four-step process process that I use to create endless neo soul chords. So let's go ahead and dive in. Okay, the first thing I recommend when you're playing in this style is to actually use an electric keyboard sound. You can play neo soul with a grand piano sound, but it's going to sound a lot more authentic if you use an electric keyboard. And specifically, I recommend that you use the Fender Rhodes sound. That's going to be a great sound for this style. Okay, so what's step number one to playing in the neo soul style? Well, the first thing to understand is what are the most common chords that neo soul pianists use when they're playing in this style? And there are really two chords that I typically hear maybe 90% of the time in this style of music. So that's going to be step number one. I want to show you these chords. The first chord you're going to use a lot of is major seven chords. Like this is an F major seven. Okay? So this is just step number one. Make sure you can play, you know, major seven chords. You're going to hear this all the time. The second chord type you're going to hear a lot of are minor seven chords. Okay? So this is an F minor seven chord and so make sure you can play chords like this where you have a minor triad and then the seventh a whole step below the root and you can practice some different minor seventh chords around the piano just make sure you're comfortable with these chords all right before I teach you step number two if you're enjoying this video please hit the like button and if you're new to the channel be sure to subscribe for more videos just like this okay once you can play major seven and minor seven chords the second step is you want to thicken up your chords and if you listen to almost any neo soul pianist they're gonna play these amazing chords right what are they doing to make their chords sound so interesting well I call these chord thickeners and they're basically notes that you can add to your chord to make them sound very interesting and there's a simple formula for this so if you start with your major 7 chord like an F major 7 your chord thickeners are the 2 and the 6 so if you take an F major scale one, two, three, four, five, six. Your two and your six are the G and the D, right? And so instantly your F major seven chord is gonna sound a lot more interesting with the two and the six. So just remember that's your formula for major chords is you're gonna add your two and your six. Well, what about minor chords, minor seven chords? How do you thicken these up? Well, for these chords, I like to add the two and the four. Okay, and that sound amazing. So just remember this, if you're playing a minor seven chord, you add the second and the fourth note from the scale and it instantly sounds a lot cooler. Now, if you wanna do a deep dive on how to add these chord thickeners to your chords, check out our chord extensions course over at pianowithjohnny.com. In that course, I do a deep dive on these extra notes that you can add to chords. All right, we are on to step number three, and this is the most important step if you wanna play in the neo soul style, because what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect our chords in a really cool way. Okay, what the heck? Well, I'm using a technique called common tones, and I'm going to show you exactly how this works. So here's the basic idea. Let's say we're starting on an F major 7 chord, and the top note is an F, okay? And I'm going to voice this chord in a little more interesting way. I'm going to play it like this, okay? It's kind of a spread out F major 9 chord, okay? Well, here is the really cool thing with the neo soul style. You'll hear this from a lot of pianists. They'll keep that top note common to all their chords and they'll switch to a different bass note so they might come up here to the g flat and they'll make this a g flat major nine chord okay or if you just play the chord simply it's a g flat major seven and the top note of the g flat major seven is the f okay so in other words that f is shared between the f chord and the g flat chord well you could do this Again, you could come up to the G, and you could make this the seventh of a G minor seven chord, and then I'm gonna play the extra notes in there, that nine and the 11, or we call it the two and the four, okay? Does that make sense? So we're keeping that top note common to all of the chords, and we're switching between different major and minor chords. This is an A flat major 13 chord. 
okay? You could do it with the A on the bottom, okay? This is an F major 9 over A. You see what's happening? So in other words, that F is going to work with any uh, bass note on the bottom using primarily major 7 and minor 7 chords. Okay, this is a B flat major 9, or you could put the, the 13 in there, make it a B flat major 13. The only ones that I change are going to be the B. For this one, I like to play this as a dominant chord. So it's like a B7, and I'm adding a 9 and a sharp 11 in there, a little cluster. But then on the C, you can make this a C minor 11. Okay, again, it's just a C minor 7 chord, and I'm adding the 2 and the 4, which I taught you earlier, and then I'm just spreading the chord out. Isn't that amazing? Okay, you can do the same thing for D flat, right? This is the third of a D flat major 7 chord. So we spread the notes out. Isn't that gorgeous? What about a D minor? Well, this is the third of a D minor 7. So we're going to spread these notes out, okay? And then what about E flat? Well, here's an E flat major 7. That's the two, so we're gonna voice it like that. Isn't that gorgeous? The last one, which is gonna be E on the bottom, I do treat this more like a dominant chord, like that. It has a really cool sound. And so on the B chord and the E chord, I treat these as dominant chords, but all of the other chords are gonna be major seven chords and minor seven chords. By the way, I wanted to mention that the lesson sheet music you're seeing up here on the top left of the screen is downloadable and printable over at pianowithjohnny.com. You can also change the key of this entire lesson with the click of one button with our smart sheet music. So I'll put a link to all of that below. All right, once you've practiced all of these different chords that you can use with that F common tone on the top, then what I recommend is that you practice kind of mixing and matching these chords, okay? And so here's a really great example of something that I like to do with these chords in the lesson sheet music. So I'm gonna start on an F major 9 chord. You can double up as many of the notes as you want. Let's go to an A flat major 13 here. Okay. Then from here you could drop down and play a G minor chord. Drop that G right there, it's gorgeous. And then a D flat chord. Doesn't that sound amazing? And then you could come up to like a D minor 11. Maybe go your E flat 13, isn't that cool? And then maybe like a G flat major 13, you can get the 13 in there. And then your C minor 11, okay? Doesn't that sound amazing? And so there's all different types of combinations that you can use when you're using these chords. I will say that it is generally nice when you're moving between chords that are near one another. So when we started this, you know, we went F to A flat, and then we just went down a little half step, that's a really nice sound. Or in the second phrasing here, we're starting on a you know D minor 11, and then we're hopping up to an E flat major 13. Okay, so that's kind of a general little guide behind this style of playing is to, in general, try using chords that are near one another. All right, lastly, let's play these chords with the included backing track. By the way, you can download this backing track at pianowithjohnny.com. I'll put a link to that below, and here we go. And here it is, A flat, G minor, D flat, B minor, E flat, G flat, C. Hey, thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed the lesson, please let me know in the comments. Also, be sure to check out pianowithjohnny.com. We have over 1,000 step-by-step lessons for all playing levels where you'll learn your favorite songs, styles, and how to improvise at the piano. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.